Hi Aquarius, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I'm doing your You Verse Them love reading. It is timeless. I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you, okay? Um, so Aquarius, I'm going to do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to flip-flop and reverse the roles as you see fit. Uh, don't force anything, all right? And if it's not your reading, it's just simply not your reading, okay? Please check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for messages there, all right? Uh, Aquarius, I am offering 30-minute readings for $30. Again, that information is in the description box below. And if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, uh, comment below, let me know if this resonates. I really appreciate all your love and support for my channel. It's what keeps me going. All right, so thank you for all of your love and support. All right, let's get into your reading. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. <laughs> Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life and children. Your love life is being affected by children. And bottom of the deck, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Whew, Aquarius, uh, release your ex. Reconciliation. Um, it could mean release your now ex or there could be someone trying to come back into your life. There could be children involved in this connection or the children card has multiple meanings. It could mean, yes, literal children, or it could mean someone is being very childlike or someone needs to be a little more playful and not so serious. All right, but let's get into your reading and see what's going on. Well, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Star. There's your energy, Aquarius. So maybe things moving forward, a wish is coming true, or some healing is taking place, having hope and faith, all right? Let's see, what else? What else, Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? I feel like things are starting to change for the better within your energy or within yourself. King of Swords, there you are. The Queen of Swords wanted to come out too. There could have been a divorce or a, definitely a separation, okay? Um, so King of Swords, there's your energy. Five of Cups. It's like one extreme to the next here. <laughs> you could be wanting, you could be wanting a reconciliation Aquarius, some of you, for others, it's your person. You're feeling some kind of sadness, a feeling of loss, regret, sadness. Um, you could have hope and faith that this person returns to you. Let's see, what's going on with your person? Big chunks keep falling out for you guys. Big stories, big stories. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Aquarius is person. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Your person could be in that single, fun, flirty, fiery, attractive energy. Um, there could be some kind of feelings of passion. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Romance, and the Hermit. Virgo energy. I feel like your person is in a very fun, flirty, attractive energy. They may want to come back to you and apologize, make some kind of an apology. They could have gotten some kind of wisdom here. Um, maybe a lesson was learned and now they're, you know, possibly trying to come back and make a return. If not, this person could have straight up ghosted you. All right. Um, and now they're, it's like you see them living like their best life, you know, going out, having fun. And that could be what's making you in that five of cups energy, seven of wands. So they're very much protecting their energy right now. Two of swords. They're trying to make some kind of head over heart decision. They're trying to be more logical than emotional when it comes to this decision that they're trying to make. Could be with you. There's still that attraction, though, and passion. Let's see. What are blockages? Blockages going on for you, Aquarius. What are blockages or external influences? Let's 
The Hanged One and Four of Wands. Pisces energy. You need to pull your energy back so that way you can get a different perspective or else things are not going to level up. There's that Knight of Cups. That's being blocked. Romance in your life right now is being blocked. You need to walk away from the... From this, I feel like you need to release this person, Aquarius. I'm starting to feel like you you want the reconciliation. I feel like this person may have ghosted you or went off in a different direction and you're still having hope and faith or wishing on a star that this person will come back to you. But I feel like you need to kind of just let them go. Let's see, what are blockages for this person? Because you're not you're not walking away. We have two of pentacles, the tower, scorpionic energy, and you. King of swords. There's been too many tower moments in this connection, Aquarius. Too many. And I feel like this person. The, they ghosted you. And I'm not saying it's your fault by any means. This person could have straight up caused it all and then blamed you and ghosted you and left you in the dust, you know? Um, it happens a lot, you know? People don't take responsibility for their actions or see the big picture and, you know, unfortunately, that's the ego, you know? Uh, let's see what else. What else? Blockages for this person. <sighs> Eight of Swords and Ace of Cups. This person could have felt a little trapped, stuck, tied down in this connection, and I feel like it lacked that ultimate love. They could have just blocked love. Their heart chakra could be blocked. Maybe they're just not open to love. They could be a very cold person. I feel a little bit of um, very insecure and seeks attention to make themselves boost their ego. All right. I'm kind of sensing that with this person. Um, let's see. How do you genuinely feel about this person Aquarius page of Pentacles could be an age difference doesn't have to be you feel like there was um, a very very little stability with this person I had that Queen of Swords again Oops, what else how else do you feel about them King of Wands. So now we have the King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, so you feel this person is in that Queen of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you see them as that. So the King and Queen of Wands are usually like the single people that are attractive, fun, flirty, adventurous, go out, have fun, passionate, driven, um, kind of like born leaders, leads the way, makes their path, does their own thing. That kind of a thing, and you're seeing that about them. It's like, I feel like you're seeing this person just, you know, they could be like overposting on social media to make you jealous, and it's kind of working, I'm not going to lie. Um, justice, Libra, energy. Again, that could be a divorce, all right? This person could have called for a divorce for some of you, or called for the breakup. Um, I feel like... magician yeah what I'm saying you see this person out like in your eyes you see them manifesting what they wanted you see them going out and having fun and living their best life right and it's it's hurting you because when you guys were together it could have been an opposite effect an opposite reaction that this person was showing you all right, let's see. How does this person feel about you? Well, two of cups. High priestess, Pisces, Scorpio, energy, six of wands. 
and five of cups. All right, so uh, that could be that reconciliation. I feel like this person is going to want to try and come back. They're, they could be out right now having the time of their lives and it's hurting you, but I feel like eventually this, this energy is going to catch up with them. Because right now, they're not acknowledging this. They're blocking it out by keeping busy, going out, having fun, you know, doing whatever. I was going to say, like, getting getting over you by getting under somebody else. You know, that kind of a thing, unfortunately. Um, for some, not all, all right? And I feel like that that's going to catch up. They're going to have that aha moment, and it's going to hit them because they really feel this way about you that two of cups energy, they want victory and success, or they thought that that's what they were going to have when it came to you. Yeah. Wow. I'm taking it. Gemini energy, the lovers, 10 of cups and three of cups. For some of you, there could have been a third party situation. You already know about it. I'm not going to get into that. All right. Um, but this person, they could want to like come back together, reunite, celebrate, have that Ten of Cups. It's like, I feel like this person's going to have a wake up call and want to choose you because they're not going to be able to take this when it hits them. Let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Everyone has free will, so it could change, but potential outcome... Knight of Cups, third time showing up, Knight of Cups. So this person is going to come back and try to apologize, but you are going to be in this energy, Aquarius. A little bit confused, still brokenhearted, still hurt over whatever it was that they did. They're going to try and offer truth, clarity, and apology. They want higher level of commitment with you. They're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. What could have been, what was, what could be. Um, expect communication. Expect communication from this person. Temperance, yeah, and justice. So Sag and Libra energy. This person's going to try and balance the scales, all right? They're going to try and calm the waters, calm things over, you know, go with the flow, offer that apology. Um, they're, they're definitely reminiscing about you and thinking about you. It's really up to you if you're going to want to take this person back, Aquarius, um, can you forgive them? I feel like you are very much wanting them back. Um, it hurts you. You you are struggling to walk away from them. Um, I feel like they are going to come back and try and reconcile with, with you. Um, I feel like that's what you want. I feel like you, you probably are going to get that. All right. Could be eight weeks. Five, five to eight weeks. Uh, biggest obstacles, compromise, and silence. Going within, following your intuition, sometimes not speaking. Um, and I feel like you're not. I feel like this person did ghost you. There's no communication happening right now. Um, that silence is killing you right now. Not talking to them, but seeing what they're up to, knowing what they're up to, it's it's hurting you inside. Um, so overcoming that and then compromising together, you know, having that understanding, forgiving, putting the past in the past, because if this person comes back and you can't for truly forgive, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. All right. Um, advice, feminine, your divine feminine, you seeking her twin or soulmate. Okay. Everyone has feminine and masculine in them doesn't really matter. So someone's seeking their soulmate or their twin flame. All right. What else? Advice. Advice. For Aquarius. Advice. Spring. Your love is blooming. Answers arrive in the spring. Yeah, like eight months. Could be eight months, eight weeks, five, 
five to eight weeks or months for some of you, okay? Um, material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark, and denial, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. Yeah, you're both, you're both gonna, you're, you're going through that right now. Your person is going to get hit with that in the near future, okay? All right. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Comment below. Let me know if this resonates. Um, if you'd like to book a 30-minute reading for $30, I also offer hour-long readings and distance Reiki healing. That information is in the description box below. And until next time, Aquarius, love and light. Take care.